This is one of the most remote places I've ever filmed in, I, I've ever been to. It, it's, it's really miles from anywhere. 100 miles that way, 100 miles that way, 100 miles that way, there's nobody at all. So very few people uh, actually come here. Getting into the colony has been uh, the biggest challenge of this shoot, carrying all of our kit over to the colony. It's about two kilometres away from where we camp, but we can't drive right up to a seal colony, obviously. So we have to walk about 400 metres, clamber over a rock, and then our last passage is a crawl, which is right in the, in the thick of the colony. There's seals either side, and we need to keep nice and low so that we don't startle those seals. Seals rear up when they're threatening each other. Something breaking the horizon or standing tall is, is, is aggressive to them. So that means that we've had to crawl hands and knees across. It's only about a 50 metre stretch and it's across sand. It looks quite benign, but it's not at all benign. It's not sand, it's gravel and bits of seal bone. And it's really fairly unpleasant. The first time we did it, my knee blistered and skinned and was just really very painful. Our delightful camera assistant, uh, Rowan, fashioned me some very good knee pads, which have been a godsend. But um, it's, uh, yes, it's not been the, the nicest commute to work. When the wind blows here, it's unreal. It absolutely howls and it gets kind of channeled between these two big, big rocks that we have to crawl past. It's like loads of little needles in your hands and any, any skin that's, that's exposed and it just really does sandblast you as you're, you're crawling in. It fills your ears, even trying to breathe. You, you inhale and you get a mouth full of sand, a nose full of sand. Yeah, it's horrible. And the seals and the jackals, they're just dealing with this pretty much every day. That's what life's like here. Um, it was pretty astonishing to watch seals just hanging out on the beach, lying down with sand whipping right over them and the jackals coming through. The jackals are small. They're just getting a face full of sand. It must be grim. The jackals are great. They are, they're really curious. They're very pretty animals. They've got very beautiful little faces, fine features and lovely markings on their back. They're beautiful. The hyenas are something else. They are probably the most eccentric animal I've ever seen. They wear kind of bonkers striped leggings and a big baggy jumper. They've got a really bohemian look. They're like nothing else. And they are huge. They're so much bigger than the jackals. I think they weigh 10 times as much, something like that. It's really impressive. <laughs> It is heartbreaking to see a, to see a seal pup uh, get taken. When you first arrive, you look at the, you look at the colony and there are, there's a sort of pup blanket all over, the, all over the place. But you do start tuning in on an individual. You, you, you spot one and you follow him and you watch him poddling around and looking for his mum and calling. And it's, it's hard, it's hard to watch. The other day there was, a, there was a pup down on the beach and to be honest it, it looked dead and there was a jackal prowling around and it went up to this just bag of bones and uh, gave it a sniff and it didn't, nothing happened and it just, just left it, just walked away. And as the, the jackal moved off and just saw its chest rise up and it had a little breath in it and it was alive and it just either slept through it or held its breath. It's nice to think that it just held its breath while that jackal came up. Um, and then you know, just stuck its head up, looked around, potted off, so followed it and it went in amongst all the different females. The females, when it's not their mum, the pup's not sure, it tries its luck at anything. The females are barking at it, going, no, go away, go away, you're not having any milk from me. It makes its way around and then goes up to another mum and you just think, she's going to get a shout at it again. 
Um, but it was its mum who went up to him. It's like this reunion and he got to suckle. So, you know, without that, he, he had no chance. So it was great. It was great to, to get that moment.